kind of, I'm in media. Right, so let's get into the full story and also hopefully some of you will find whatever I'm going to share helpful. How many of you like climbing mountains? Oh, I see a four. Some hands came up before I even asked. So nice to know I'm in good company. Okay, because when I talk to my friends, sometimes they're like, um, what a weirdo. I have two brothers. My mom, when asked, she tells people she has three sons. She doesn't understand why girls would want to do something like that. Uh, but for me, when I climb a mountain, okay, even for those who've never climbed a mountain before, anyone climb Bukitima Hill? Come on, come on. Okay, especially during COVID, right? I, I climbed a lot of Bukitima Hill. So if you are familiar with Bukitima Hill, at the start, you know, when you just get to the start of the park, the park is actually really steep. Do you realize? It's like, it actually looks dauntingly steep. For me, I was like, whoa, the first time I went, I thought this was, Singapore's not really hilly. How, how is this that this hill looks like a mountain, right? And I feel like not just for Bukitima, this was uh, recently, a couple of months ago, I was in Kilimanjaro. So we summited and it was uh, five, I forget, 5,000, oh my gosh, 5,000, 6,000 feet, something like that. 6,000 over meters high. And um, when we start, actually, whether you're climbing Kilimanjaro or Everest Base Camp or even Bukitima Hill, the first part is always the same. And they, I realize there are two types of people in the world. Right, they're the kinds who plan a lot. Like my friends are like, oh, okay, so day one, right, we're gonna climb this, 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 and then we're gonna base camp here, and then day two is like this, 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 right, and then the people like me was just, okay, you know, let's just go along for the ride, especially if there's a guy. But the first point is always when you stay at the mountain, you're like, you're gonna summit that in five days. I mean, to me, that's the the general feeling. Right, so anyone have any idea if you're staring at a mountain or Bukitima Hill, how to get started? Take the first step, that's right, rocket science today guys, okay, but my first point really is about taking the first step. And it sounds like crazy simple, and it is, but it's also not that easy to do sometimes, honestly. When you're faced with that challenge, you're like, what do I do, what do I do? My number one tip is really just get started, right? And the other thing that I learned is you don't have to see the whole of what you're going to climb before you take the first step. So Bukatima Hill, I can't remember, it's about 153 meters high only. Ah, Singapore. Right, we get, it's really, really low, but even then you can't see the top of Bukitima Hill when you're at the base of the hill. Right, so that's what I always remind myself, whether it's Kilimanjaro or Everest Base Camp, or Bukitima Hill, you can't see that first step. And I think that's also the point because a lot of times we let our mindset limit us. Right, so we started Kilimanjaro, my friends were like, hey, do you know, right, the summit day is very strong. I was like, why are they said, okay, because you, you go to sleep at like 6 p.m., they wake you up at 11 p.m., and then you start climbing at midnight to watch sunrise in six hours. I'm like, yeah, okay, but if you think too far, you actually won't do it. So I usually try to know as little as possible. I just know what I need to bring, who I need to get to help me plan this, and then pay money. Right? So for me, that kind of works, because I feel like then I'm not limited by my mindset. All right, so now today, because we are at the D.A.R.E. conference, right, let's try to do something together. Also, because it's the last talk of the day, I feel like I can do fun, um, irreverent stuff. Okay, how many of you here use social media? Some form. Okay, everyone. Very good. Okay, how many of you use Instagram? All right, also like the vast majority. How many of you use TikTok? Okay, middling. All right, and then now also going to do a poll on what are the sort of posts that you guys put up online, okay, wherever, whether it's TikTok, Facebook, or, or Instagram. How many of you put up still photos? Okay. How many of you put up videos or reels or TikToks? Half the room. How many of you do Instagram stories or TikTok shorts or YouTube shorts? All right, nice. Now. The ones that do videos, what sort of videos do y'all put up? Do y'all take pictures of, or for example, at the conference, who has posted something from today already? Okay, it's slightly embarrassed laughter. Don't worry, we'll fix that. <laughs> and when y'all take videos, or especially when you take stories, okay, how many of you take a story like this, like, oh, check out the whole room, check out the food? That, that's the most common, I think. How many of you have posted stuff like that? Oh, check out my dog, check out my kids. Now, how many of you hold the phone? Where's my phone actually? Can you pass me my phone? 
How many of you hold your phone and actually do like a video to like a video like that straight to the camera, right? Where you're basically like doing a selfie like this. Like, hi, I'm speaking at this conference. Check out the number of people. Make some noise, everyone. All right, how many of you have taken something like that? Okay, not a lot of people. So now is the point where I want you to do it. And the catch, the catch, we have 30 seconds because I have a timer here that's going off, okay? Everyone does it now and you can't overthink it, right? I don't know, I don't care whether you do it on Facebook, on TikTok, on Instagram Reels, Instagram Stories. I want to get you guys to live stream, but it doesn't work in a short format, right? Do it now, post something quick. You can say the most awesome speaker is on stage right now. I will not, you know, complain about that. Or you can just say something nice or not nice, but just do something. Come on, 30 seconds. I'm gonna actually look at